All right, we have a couple of fairly quick questions here. This first one says you want to be horizontal and passing through the order pair 16, negative 53. I think back to our review about graphing linear equations. If you're going to be horizontal, that means you're going to take on the form of y is equal to some number, right? It's a horizontal line. That means it has a slope of 0, and it's going to take on the form of an equation y equals b. If you were to draw this out, and you were to look at 16, negative 53, so let's say this is 16, and somewhere down here this is negative 53, so there's your order pair, right? And you want to be a horizontal line going through that guy. And again, we know that horizontal lines stick on the form y equals. Well, what does y equal in this case? For this horizontal line, every single point on here has a y value of negative 53. And that's your equation. There was no slope to find or identify here. It was just a horizontal line. So it was y equals a number. y equals negative 53. Now look at the next one. The next one says it's passing through the ordered pair 45, 13, but it has an undefined slope. And if you remember, when you have an undefined slope, that means that you are working with a vertical line. And if you're working with a vertical line, it's going to take on the form for the equation of x equals a, where a is whatever the number is, right? So again, if you want to draw a picture to get an idea about what's going on here, you can. So if I call this guy 45, and this is 13, there's your point. To have an undefined slope, you're going to be this vertical line. And we know that the equation is supposed to be x equals. Well, what does x equal for every single point on this line? You guessed it. x equals 45. And that's all there is. Now, let's see what happens when we have a word problem. Stick around.